Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. My name is Paulo and today I'm here for the review of an interesting pen. I know that this review or this initial uh, scene deserves a little of uh, music like an imperial march or something like that, but I don't want to get into any copyright trouble. So, here are my little Lego minifigures Stormtroopers and I'm showing them because today I will make the review of one interesting, I would say unintentional and unofficial merchandising of Star Wars. And that pen is the Pelican M100 called Stormtrooper, but in fact is the black, the white with black trim version. And so, let's take a look. The pen. I got this pen at a store here, not really in the center of Lisbon, but really, really next to, to Lisbon in a shopping center that still had this pen as a new wood stock. The, the piston was very stiff, I already I even made a, a video uh, showing how to lubricate the pistons of pens and so today I'm going to show it to you. It says there West Germany and the logo on this pelican has two little birds there, two baby pelicans because this pen is from 1987 and it has this little box it has some papers with the guarantee which is just what it is and showing the pens, the parts the kind of nibs that were available and so on, which is interesting. And the pen is here inside this elastic loop. Okay, the, that part is away and let's take a look at the pen. So, this is called the Stormtrooper and I think it's called Stormtrooper. For me it's quite obvious because it is all white with black trim and I have to say that this reminds me quite a lot the the kind of of design. And if and if I show these uh, from the new series, the First Order Stormtroopers, I, I can see that. Let me take their helmet off. I think the helmet really has something that has to do with this black trim until the, the ring for me is a cap similar similarity thing and I really think they have something in common. This is maybe quite stupid, I don't know, but if you are a Star Wars fan, maybe you will agree with me. So, the pen that I'm showing to you is a Pelican M100. The Pelican M100 is quite a small sized pen. Overall it has the same kind of shape of a regular Pelican M series and I'm showing now uh, so uh, let me go first to the parts of the pen it has the logo there as a blind engraving so it's not very easy to see it is white on white the Pelican with two baby birds then the Pelican beak clip and you have a black ring that says Pelican and in the other place W, which means West Germany, nothing more here, and it has the piston knob that is a little recessed from the rest, no more rings, and when you uncap it you have a nice ink window, and it is transparent, believe me, but it has some ink, and now you cannot see how transparent it is, but it is, I, will, I can point the light in a different way, maybe you will be able to see it and things, no, I think you can see it 
and things are falling on the ground all over because I'm changing the tripod and, and so. Okay, never mind. It has threads to uncap, so if the pen is capped, you'd have to take mm, three, a little bit less, less than three quarter turn to uncap the pen. And you have the section, the typical shaped uh, pelican section and the black nib which is quite typical of this pen in terms of shape, but it is black. It also has the two baby birds there, but I'm not sure you can see it, just in this place where the light reflects, because otherwise it is just black. And it has a B down there, it is a bold nib, broad nib. And that's kind of a problem to me, because I don't like broad nibs, so... And I don't really love white pens, but this was for sale as new old stock and I thought, okay, I have to have one of those and ink it and it is a Stormtrooper pen. Okay, so as far as I know, Pelican did not intend to make a Stormtrooper or a Star Wars uh, themed pen, but obviously people think there is a, a relation in terms of design. In terms of shape, that was what I was going to show you a little bit ago, then I got mixed up, was this. This is a quite small pen. This is the more usual uh, M200. This is the anthracite version. It has a couple of years now, but a modern, a more modern because it has only one little bird there. And it is transparent, like a smoke grey transparent thing. And you can see it is smaller. And when you compare it with the size of a big Pelican M800, it is much, much smaller. It is interesting because I would say it is almost... It is even a little smaller than the Pelican 120, the vintage one. But I think it is... A nice little size, not a big size pen. If you like big sized pens, it's not for you, but it's nice. I, I really, I think this review is getting out of order, but I don't care. I guess you already know many of the pens and how I present them, so maybe you'll understand. It's it's a fun, it's a fun little pen, and I I I, I find it interesting. It's just fun. Uh, above all, it's fun. So, if, if you want to check, let me just check, uh, show you the, the size of the, of the nibs. This is the old Pelican 120, almost the same size of the nib. This is the M200, and I think I can put this and screws the, the nib. So, that's why, that's how you can lubricate the piston, because the, you cannot take the pen apart, the piston, to lubricate it, so you have to unscrew the nib unit and insert some silicone grease through the opening left by removing the nib. So the nib of the Pelican 200, the, the threads fit, but I'm not sure if the cap will allow it to, to close, if I have the Pelican M200 here, but why should I put it there, because I have a black nib, so the black nib is a thing to go. And here is the M800 or, or M805 demonstrator and you can see the difference in the nib size. Also, the difference in the size of the pens when uncapped. So, this is really a smaller pen. Okay, let me just uncap this stuff, take them out of the way and just talk a little bit more about it. Uh, so, as I was telling you, it is quite small, but it is comfortable to hold, and you can hold it and use it like this. The, I, I think the section for such a small pen is not that thin, so it is quite comfortable to hold. I, I really think this is a comfortable pen. If you think it is too short for you, you can post it and it posts securely and because the pen, the cap is made of plastic it will not uh, be back heavy so it it is perfectly perfectly usable this way so i think you can use it in this in this way because it's it's okay 
The biggest concern I had about this pen was with the ink. I was uh, quite afraid that the ink might stain the, the pen, so I decided to use here a quite simple ink and safe ink, which is the Schiffer Scrip Turquoise. So I think there's no problem with that and every little piece of ink that comes out, I, I can easily just clean it. It's there stained a little bit, but it's not permanent. You can clean it very easily because the, 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 the Schiffer ink is, is a safe ink in my, in my opinion. So, let me put it this again, back again, and let me just compare it with the Lamy LX and the Parker Centennial Full Big Red. Of course it is smaller, but you could already imagine it because the Pelican M800 or that M805, which is the same size, just a different trim, is of the same size as the Parker Centennial Fold. so if you saw one you can guess how the size compares with the other one. And there, you can see it is quite smaller, but it's not a um, short pen or a pocket pen, it is just a, small, a smaller pen and it is an interesting uh, pen in my, in my opinion. Okay, about the rest, it is a Pelican pen, so it's quite well made. Uh, it is nice, it is a pen that, that is quite old now and something that I notice in this pen is that there is no yellowing of the plastic, which I think is good, because this plastic, we are into 2020, so this pen has 33 years now. Uh, it could be in a worse shape than it is, so it is quite perfect, I would say. It, it has just a little something there. I think I can clean that black thing out. I don't think it is a crack. I think it's just a little something. But the pen is in really good shape. It was in new condition. However, it was there in the store for ages, so it may have some scratches or something because it was on the store window. Okay, this is a nice pen. It is sold for uh, around 100 euros because it is a pen that people search for them because okay it is iconic uh, because star wars is iconic let's go for the writing sample let's do it like that and start right away so this pen is the pelican m100 and let's call it Storm Trooper and it has a broad nib which is something that I don't really like that much. I have to show you something which is the kind of feedback it makes. So I will write I will put the my microphone down next to the paper for you to hear the noise. Okay, I hope you could hear this. This is a, a, an insane amount of feedback. I never had this amount of feedback, even in a platinum or um, sailor pen. It, it is, I would say it is almost too much. Is it scratchy? No, because when a pen is scratchy, it means that the tines are not aligned and it, 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 it scratch, it really scratches the paper. But the feeling that I have is like if, like if I was writing with a piece of chalk. It's very strange for such a broad nib. My opinion, I guess, is because these pens get the iridium, okay, it's not iridium, but I don't care. They get the, the material that we usually call iridium on the top. And then they are plated, this, in this case they are black, uh, with this black coating. 
and I find that all the pens that I have that have black coating have higher feedback. And I tend to find the feedback to disappear a little bit with the use. So I think has the, the black coating wears off on the tip where you're writing, not on the top of the nib, but the, on the spot that the nib touches the paper, it wears off and it gets smoother on the paper. This one, I, I'm using it, this is my first and only feeling that I made this pen so far. So, oh, because it is a piston filler, it takes quite uh, a bit of ink, but it is the only um, feeling that I made so far, so uh, it's not that used. Now, about the characteristics of, of the line. Yes, I would agree this is a, a bold or a broad nib, however, I have used medium nibs that are as broad as this one, so it's not the most large uh, line. About line variation, you can try to have some, but the nib feels really stiff, so I will not force it a lot, but you can have some, and it is fun. About the reverse writing, it writes well, maybe from a broad to a fine nib, and the amazing thing, it is much less feedbacky on the reverse side than on the regular side. Now, just about the wetness. I think this feed provides really a good amount of ink to this nib that is on the broader side. It doesn't skip, it writes well all the time, so I think this is really a good pen. Do I love white pens? No, but if you like these little guys, maybe you want to have one pen like these and post some photos on Instagram like I already did, because it is just a fun pen to have and to play with. That's my opinion. So, this is all I have I had to show. This is, this was a review that was not in the same kind of uh, structure as it usually is, but I hope you can understand, I hope you had some fun and maybe I will leave links for eBay auctions with this pen below and if you want, go for it because you may want to play with this and with those Lego little minifigures which are so fun. So, thank you all for watching, I hope to see you soon, don't forget to like and subscribe and by the way may the force be with you bye